in the given times that we are living in, in this moment, in time, I think it is very important for everybody in America to start making your own contingency plans and making sure that you are prepared for you and your family. You also need to make sure that you are preparing for the ultimate worst right down to your regular natural disasters and things of that nature, which could be the ultimate worst for you, but the ultimate worst that I am talking about is the things that fall from the sky. To be prepared for these type of emergencies, we all should have a detailed evacuation plans that consider the quickest and the safest routes out of our area. Number one, I mean, I've been talking about this for a very long time on this channel. You need to have a plan A, plan B, and also a plan C. Plan A is the one, you know, everybody takes. You follow the little blue signs that say evacuation. Everybody's going to be going that way. So you got to have a plan B. Try to get off the beaten path and still get out of harm's way. And then you have to have a plan C that may take you a little bit further off the path and sometimes you're more comfortable driving in. But if it means that you can get you and your family out of harm's way, this is what you have to do. The plan should also include all different types of contingencies for evacuating, either if it's going to be by car, if you got stuck doing it on foot, maybe by bicycle, whatever it is, all right? As well as identifying the nearest types of shelters in your area. Now, believe it or not, folks, there are still a few bomb shelters left in this country. Very few and more than likely not enough for everybody. So there's a lot of things that you can do about that. Essential items, such as your identification, proof of property ownership, you know, your insurance information, your homeowner's insurance information, all this type of stuff, all important documents. You should be keeping all those in a secure type of container or bag or something that can be carried with you very easily even into a backpack this way here if something happens you have to go to a shelter or if you lose everything um, you have proof of all these different types of things something i would highly suggest people do is also to take video footage nowadays everybody has cameras you have it on your phone you can do this take video footage download it Put it on a flash drive and put that into your security bag as well. So then you have video proof of what you owned, what it was, what it looked like, and everything else. You also need to make sure that you are familiarizing yourself with local emergency plans and disaster management procedures. Everywhere has something different that they want to do as well as any potential evacuation routes or designated evacuation zones. Preparing a bug out bag is a whole nother concept and a crucial step in being ready for emergencies. I've done several videos on this. Uh, These bags should contain essential items that would be needed for at least a 72 hour evacuation. And just to go over just a few quick things, I'm not gonna go into a whole backpack Um, You can go back and watch these videos, but just we're talking some non-perishable food, water, change of clothes, uh, maybe some toiletries, a first aid kit, maybe like something along the lines of a batter powered or a hand crank radio, uh, flashlights, um, maybe a a whistle. I'd I'd put a mask in there also and a multi-tool and a mask is just in case you don't know what the situation is going to be if there's a lot of crap blowing around in the air the less you breathe in the better off you're going to be in addition to physical preparation your mental preparedness is essential for handling extreme emergency situations 
being able to really handle the situation and deal with it and make good quality decisions is key. Individuals should familiarize themselves with the potential risks in their area and develop a plan for dealing with these threats beforehand. This might include understanding the signs of impending natural disasters, such as a earthquake, a tsunami, or a volcano eruption. Also, you could include in there maybe possibly a Category 5 hurricane. Or you could also say a terrorist attack or other acts of violence, the stuff that falls from the sky. Furthermore, it is crucial to establish and maintain open lines of communication with family members, friends, and neighbors during a crisis, developing a communication plan that outlines how to stay in touch during an emergency, including backup methods, such as something as simple as text messaging, if you have a satellite phone, um, these type of things. Regularly updating emergency contact information and sharing this information with trusted individuals can help ensure that everyone can be reached in the event of an evacuation. Another important aspect of preparing for emergencies is staying informed about current events and potential threats. There's a lot of them going on right now. This may involve monitoring news sources, subscribing to government alerts, or using mobile applications to provide real-time updates on natural disasters and other emergencies. Staying informed can help individuals make an informed decisions about when and how to evacuate for their families, as well as providing valuable information about the current status of any ongoing crisis that is happening right now. Ways that you really can up your game I would highly suggest participating in like your community preparedness initiatives that can help strengthen community resilience during emergencies. This may include attending like local disaster preparedness workshops, volunteering with emergency response organizations, or participating in community-wide drills and exercises. If we all start working together, this is the thing, folks, communities can better prepare for and respond to crisis, ultimately reducing the impact of disasters and saving more lives. The recent events involving all the different things that are happening right now all around this world, between Russia, Ukraine, you got North Korea, you got China, we've got all this stuff that's going on. Combined with the ongoing geopolitical tensions and the natural disaster risks that are all around the world highlighted the importance of having a comprehensive evacuation plan in place with emergency products and everything else that are ready to go in a moment's notice by preparing both mentally and physically. Individuals can better protect themselves and their loved ones during an emergency. Staying informed is key maintaining open lines of communication and participating in community preparedness initiatives can help build resilience and improve overall safety in the time of crisis i'm survival preparedness beginners think about it folks it's what you got to do i'm out